Hello everyone, here is a question based on ionic equilibrium. If equal volumes of AB2 and XY aqueous solutions are mixed, which of the following combinations will give a precipitate of AY2 at 300K? Solubility product of AY2 at the same temperature is given as 5.2 times 10 to the power minus 7. We know that when the reaction quotient is greater than solubility product, then precipitate will form. Reaction quotient means in this case ionic product. If the ionic product is greater than the solubility product, then precipitate will occur. So, here we have AB2 that would dissociate as A2 plus plus B minus. We have to put stoichiometric coefficient 2 to balance the equation and we have XY that would dissociate as x plus plus y minus. By mixing these two, we are getting Ay2. Therefore, Ay2 at equilibrium would dissociate as A2 plus plus 2 times y minus in the aqueous medium. So, if the molar concentration of Ay2 is yes, then the molar concentration of A2 plus is yes and the molar concentration of y minus is 2s yes, because we have the stoichiometric coefficient 2 here. So, therefore, Ksp is equal to s times 2s to the whole square and that is equal to 4s cube. So, 4s cube value is given as 5.2 times 10 to the power minus 7. When we write ionic product, we write it in terms of concentration, isn't it? Concentration of a2 plus times concentration of y minus whole square. Now, the expression for the solubility product and the ionic product appears to be the same, but in the solubility product expression, the molar concentration represents the equilibrium concentration. And in ionic product, the initial concentration or concentration at time t is used. This is very important to understand because when we are saying concentration of A2 plus before mixing, that is what is given here. This is concentration of A2 plus before mixing. This is concentration of Y before mixing. Because if you have XY, what it means by 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 molar XY? That means X plus concentration is 2 molar, Y minus concentration is 2 molar but that is before mixing. But once you mix equal volumes, then what will happen? The volume will be doubled, isn't it? Then the total volume would change. Total volume will become 2 liter. That is the key part to understand in this question because concentration is number of moles divided by volume. So, let us say if you are measuring the concentration of A2 plus, that is let us say before mixing, then how we can write that? we can say this is number of moles divided by volume. So, let us say number of moles is 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 divided by volume is 1 liter let us say. So, that is how we get into 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 molar, is not it? Mole per liter is we write it as capital M. Now, how about after mixing? Can we write the same thing after mixing? after mixing A, B2 and X, Y. Can we consider the volume as 1 liter? No, because here it is 1 liter, here also 1 liter. Therefore, the total volume has changed now. Therefore, everywhere we have to divide by 2. That is the key part in this question. So, let us check one by one. So, therefore, in the first case, we have 2 times 10 to the power minus 2. We have to divide by 2 now because total volume is 2 liters times 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 2 whole square because we are checking the ionic product. So, therefore, this will be how much? This will be 10 to the power minus 6 which is greater than 5.2 times 10 to the power minus 7 that is the KSP value given. So, therefore, precipitate will occur. Let us check the other things also. In the case of 2, it is given as 3.6 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 times 
5 times 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 2 whole square. So this will become 2.5, this is 1.8. So therefore, this will be somewhere around 10 to the power minus 11. Whatever the number that comes, it does not matter because we already have 10 to the power minus 11 that is less than 10 to the power minus 7. So therefore, 2 is definitely wrong. How about 3? 3 we have 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 2 times 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 whole square. So this will become 0.75. This is also 0.75. So, already we are getting 10 to the power minus 10. So, therefore, that is less than 5.2, whatever be the value here, 10 to the power minus 7. So, therefore, 3 is also wrong. How about 4? 4, we have 2 times 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 2 times 0.8 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 whole square. So, this becomes 0.4, 2, 2 we can cancel. So, this will be 0.16 times 10 to the power minus 10. Even if we write it as 1.6, then it would become 10 to the power minus 11, which is less than KSP. So, therefore, 4 is also wrong. So, this means that option 1 is correct.